When I first learned about this condition in 1981, uh, you know, as a fellow in child psychiatry, I'd never heard of it. And um, uh, it was pretty bad. The stigma was pretty bad. P people, uh, doctors, I've had patients saying to me, when my doctor told me I, when my son had this, it was like he was telling me he had leukemia. I mean, it was presented yeah. as this really yeah. bad thing. This is a real and, problem. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and now, you know, we've just made progress. And, and uh, so now we're, we're you know, People are talking like you and me that, wow, look at the, look at the, you know, whoever invented the wheel had, had, had this, you know, and, and uh, yeah. in this day and age, the polymerase chain reaction, the PCR, which is what we use to uh, uh, diagnose COVID, the guy who invented that uh, had ADD and he won the Nobel Prize in chemistry for that. So you can go down the list. But so more and more and more people are realizing it's not just these famous people, it's me. And th that's why I had trouble in school and I talent got buried. And I'm not going to let that happen to my kid. I'm not going to let his talent get buried. I'm not yeah. going to. And, and so more and more people are seeing it in themselves and not yeah. feeling ashamed of that. And, yeah. and that's the, you know, and, and feeling, people like you coming out. Yeah. And feeling having an obligation because I don't want to have people go through, although it served me well, the difficulty and the challenges and the lack of... Uh, uh, you know, feeling, uh, having that feeling of not being a failure, uh, right. you know, it served me well, but for a lot of other people, maybe would not have been able to get out of it. And if it were not for Toastmasters that unlocked me, and then your book in January 1997 that opened the world and saying, now I understand. 